Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Hey, I had some subscribers recently ask me to show them some of my new artwork that I've made recently in the last couple months. So um, I'm going to show you some of the new carvings that I've uh, done in bone, antler, and wood. I have spinning tops, bowls, whistles, and all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, go ahead and take a look at it. I hope you enjoy what you see. Let me know. Leave a post and subscribe. I'm going to have some new videos coming out soon. Um, and if you've looked at any of my other videos, you know that I'm a contractor, so I'm building, making chicken coops, and making all kinds of things. So uh, take a look at my videos and uh, let me know what you think. I'd appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much. And on the property, we're surrounded by several different breeds of uh, trees. And uh, lucky to have a lot of dead wood that I can use to carve. Like this large redwood stump that's uh, several hundred years old. That's uh, probably 15 to 25 feet in circumference. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the projects I've been making. Um, this here is out of a cow bone and it's uh, got a piece of maple on the top and on the bottom and it's carved. It's also got a base that's pow ferro and what I did is I ended up putting a magnet on the bottom of this so that it sticks to the bottom here so it doesn't fall over because it's very brittle and uh, it can basically fall off and break like glass so you can see the detail that I did in here with the bird and the flowers and again the magnet on the bottom This project actually was from a piece of uh, madrone that I found in our creek. And I call this the five face whistle. It's got this character here in the front. It's got that guy and the one down below that's leaning over with a beard. It's got the uh, wizard. And it's got the old guy down here at the bottom. And uh, the deal with this thing is it's actually a whistle. I carved it here at the bottom and I put a uh, reed in. And it comes out of his mouth when you blow it. This project here, my buddy had a piece of, uh, he tore down a uh, apple tree. And this is a piece of apple that I had and I carved with my Dremel and also with my... Uh, Shofu Carver and then I drilled this out here and I put uh, a little apple pin it's a pin made of apple and made his jaw movable and then I carved all the teeth with uh, the Shofu Carver so that's a piece of apple solid piece uh, this is also apple same tree and this is a top that I made Um, and I'll spin it for you in a little bit. The handle's also out of apple, and this piece is also out of apple. And I made that on the lathe. Uh, this piece is also a top, and this spinning top here I made out of redwood. And on our property, there's really, really old redwood trees. And the way I did this one is, uh, this comes off. And then this piece comes out. And I actually have a little weight inside out of steel. And that gives it, uh, and I have different ones so it can spin longer or do different, uh, either wobble or not wobble. But, and that goes on and spins. Okay, this spinning top I made here, this one's actually out of eucalyptus. We have eucalyptus trees near the ocean here in Santa Cruz, California. And I found some branches that were on the ground, took them and spun them on the lathe. So this is actually out of a uh, eucalyptus. Uh, this top I spun, it whistles. And this one I made out of madrone. 
And this one also is out of Madrone. I'll spin a couple for you in a little bit. Uh, this one's out of Eucalyptus. This little top here actually spins really well. This one's out of Apple. I carved that one out of Apple. Or, uh, sorry, I turned it, not carved it. I turned it out of Apple on the lathe. And then something different I made is this goblet. It has a ring on it one piece. This is actually out of redwood. And again, the really, really old redwood trees uh, you saw earlier on that stump out in front of the house um, is very, very hard, not like uh, the redwood these days. So I was actually able to turn this goblet um, out of the redwood and uh, it's nice and hard. So it's actually functional. So I have several other tops. This one's out of some spalted or rotten, started to rot, uh, wood from across our creek. And uh, spins real nice. And then there's some other ones. This one I actually made out of redwood. And I was able to put a uh, steel tip in it and polished it. And it actually goes all the way through. You can see the metal down inside. So this one's actually out of redwood. And then a couple other things. Obviously, here's a uh, here's a bowl I made. That's from some wood I found down in the creek, and it was from the burl from the stump. So it's actually a real hard and solid, real pretty, real pretty wood. Okay, a couple little items, a couple other ones, real quick. I had uh, I found some stuff on. Uh, on the internet, actually, I saw a top that was like this. It had this little piece, which I turned on the lathe, and I turned this other little piece. And when you put it on here and spin it, this piece actually comes up and spins, so this is a top. And I can demonstrate that in a little bit. And then this other one I made out of Pau Ferro, which is a really nice little top. And this one comes apart. So, obviously I got a lot of things going on here, but they're all interesting to me and I uh, find it a challenge to make new things. So, uh, it's fun. And uh, getting the majority of this stuff down here on the table, all the tops was all on the, made on the lathe. And obviously the carvings here I made with the, uh, the Dremel tool. I started the 4000 Dremel and then I finished it up with the Shofu carver for the detail. This one was mostly done with a Shofu carver. So... One more item I could show you is, if you don't know what a pine knot is, this is a pine knot. And you could find pine knots in the forest. I'm not sure where you're from, but where we get them is way up north. And it's where the branch was in a tree, where the branch came out. And the tree was this section and it rotted out and it left this on the ground, which is a pine knot. And you're actually able to carve faces in it, or whatever you want to carve in it. And it's like solid sap. Uh, real strong, smells really nice, and uh, great for carving. So again, it's called a pine knot. So I carved that, hang that on the wall, and then I'll show you. And then this uh, piece here is also out of a pine knot. And what I did is it was the round section of it, like this, that came out, and I turned it on the lathe. I turned it on the lathe and then I carved all these flowers into it with my uh, my Dremel and the uh, Shofu carver. And what I did is I turned it and then I put a piece of uh, walnut in the bottom of it and made a nice little cup. So, get some nice little detail to it. Okay, this is a piece of deer antler that I carved, and it's a whistle. You see the top? And I put a walnut reed down inside and then carved a little face on it. And I want to show you how some of these tops work here. This piece here, 
works really well and this is the one I mean it really is straight but this one is the one that comes apart and I turn this inside of maple I'm gonna try it on the table because it doesn't work real well inside the bowl there it goes this one is made out of uh, eucalyptus put it on here it spins pretty straight this top is made out of uh, maple okay this top this spinning top here is made out of madrone Okay, this is the old, the one I made out of the really, really old redwood. Hopefully this one works. And the uh, final one I'll show you is this one. This is the big daddy. This one. And this top weighs about four and a half pounds. And I can just let it keep on going. Uh, the longest I had this top spin was uh, four, almost five minutes. Four minutes and 42 seconds. Anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you have any questions in regards to uh, anything else that you want to have me make or you want to see, let me know, and uh, I appreciate you watching.